Hi, my name's James. I'm a third year pharmacy student studying at the University of Brighton. I'm here today with Matt Ingram, who is head of admissions for the course. So Matt, what makes a successful applicant to the course? Good day, James. Thanks for taking the time, mate. A successful applicant is academically able and emotionally robust. And in terms of applying for pharmacy, we're looking for students that really have taken interest in the course. And students apply through a UCAS system. OK, and so what is the UCAS application? The UCAS application is the same for all British universities. Students apply through an online portal where they input a personal statement that's relevant about their application, their academic history, grades they've achieved, grades they're about to achieve, and there's a, a section for a reference that's done by normally a college tutor or an equivalent type person. So do you make your offers just based on grades? We don't. We actually review the whole application, so the personal statement, the academic history and the references are intrinsically important. What should someone be putting in their personal statement? For persons applying for pharmacy, they should really tease out if they have some work experience or other relevant experience to pharmacy. If they don't have that, it's not essential, but they really need to demonstrate they have an interest in the course. What subjects should they be studying? Well, James, there are a variety of courses that students can do to get access to university. Too, probably too many mentioned today but they range from A-levels to international baccalaureates to access courses. Whatever course an applicant chooses, it must have a suitable component of chemistry and other sciences. Normally, college tutors can advise on suitable courses to get onto the pharmacy course. OK. Um, here at Brighton, pharmacy is really competitive. Why do you think that is? Well, pharmacy is a really interesting profession, and after they've done the four years, most of our students go off to get a pre-registration place that will allow that will then allow them to become pharmacists. And I imagine at the moment that's not one of the things that's on people's mind, but it is a really interesting profession that links across the whole healthcare profession. What we'll makes studying pharmacy at Brighton an interesting option, in your opinion? Well, Brighton University is a really interesting place to come and study. The MPharm at Brighton that you need to do to become a pharmacist really integrates theory and practice, so we have a high science component as well as the practical aspects of the course and there are various schemes that the students do that really enhance their time with us. In addition to that, we are moving into a purpose-built building for the School of Pharmacy and Biomolecular Sciences, where students will spend a considerable amount of time doing various activities in there. As well as that, it will house our research activities as well. Now, what should someone do if they want some more information? If somebody wants more information, one of the best things that they can do is potentially come to one of our open days that are open to students thinking of applying to university or students that have started to make their UCAS application and are really sort of firming up their choices. Um, or students, they can email us. Uh, we have an online inquiry form where students can put information and somebody from the admissions team will contact them back and they could even telephone us up. Thank you very much, Matt. I hope you found that useful and we look forward to seeing you at an open day.